What's the best solar inverter to buy in Australia in 2022? Every year, more solar inverter brands arrive in Australia. If you're looking to buy a solar system, which inverter should you choose? I think the best people to answer this question are those who have to install, commission, maintain, and support those inverters every day, the solar installers. Over the last 13 years, I've built a network of over 400 solar installers that I've personally vetted and trust who provide quotes through my website, solarquotes.com.au. I recently surveyed this network of installers about their favorite solar inverter brands. I asked them two questions. One, what inverter would you put on your own home in 2022 if money was no object? Two, what inverter would you put on your own home in 2022 if money was tight and every dollar counts? The results demonstrate what brands installers trust for both top of the range solar systems and just as importantly for quality budget systems. Before I dive into the results for both questions, I'd just like to take a moment to emphasize that while choosing a good brand is super important, you also need to ensure the system is well installed. The difference between a good and bad solar installation makes all the difference. Now, onto the winners. First up, the top end money's no object category. Taking third place is Solar Edge, an Israeli company that makes what's known as optimizer based string inverters. This means that as well as the inverter on the wall, there are small devices known as optimizers on the back of each panel. They optimize the output of each panel under a variety of conditions. The clear favorite Solar Edge model with installers was the Energy Hub hybrid inverter with a built-in consumption meter. The Energy Hub is also compatible with the new Solar Edge home battery. On the Solar Quotes website, Solar Edge owners in Australia rate the brand 4.7 stars out of 5 based on 1,472 reviews. That's pretty good. Second place goes to Enphase, an American company that make devices known as microinverters. Like optimizers, these are small boxes of electronics that go on the back of each panel. Unlike optimizers, they do not require a separate string inverter on the wall. Enphase is generally the most expensive inverter solution. Expect to pay around a 25% price premium over a standard premium string inverter like Afronius. Australian Enphase owners have given it an average score of 4.8 out of 5, based on 1,376 reviews on the Solar Quotes website. First place, drum roll please, goes to, no surprises here, Fronius. Fronius is an Austrian string inverter manufacturer with a fantastic reputation in Australia. I'm not surprised at all to see them take the top spot. They're one of the most expensive string inverter brands, costing around $1,000 more than a more affordable Chinese brand. But their reputation for reliability and ease of use is so great that one installer I know has the Fronius logo tattooed on his leg, seriously. There are over 6,000 Fronius inverter reviews on Solar Quotes with an average score of 4.8 out of 5. The sheer number of reviews is a testament to how popular they are in Australia. One issue flagged in those reviews is that the cooling fans of the current generation Primo and Simo models can be noisy. Thankfully, the next generation Gen 24 hybrid inverters run much quieter, though they do cost more. Let's move on to the budget conscious, every dollar counts category. Taking third place is Fronius. This might be surprising to hear, considering that Fronius don't make a budget inverter. But this result only shows that many good Australian installers love Fronius so much, they can't bear the thought of installing anything else, even when the customer's on a tight budget. I myself advise homeowners on a budget not to skimp on the inverter, as it's the component most likely to fail in the first 10 years of a solar system's life. A great result for a great brand, Fronius. In second place is the Chinese-made Goodwe. As well as having their brand, Goodwe also makes inverters for Aussie brand Redback, American brand General Electric, and South Korean brand LG. So countries worldwide trust Goodwe's manufacturing with their brand names. Now that's a big vote of confidence. Goodwe inverters, have a score of 4.6 out of 5 from about 1,000 reviews on Solar Quotes. But be aware, a number of those reviewers warn high ambient temperatures cause Goodwe inverters to derate significantly. To quote one reviewer, 
It's important to keep the inverter away from heat exposure. On hot days, the output will be restricted as to not overheat the inverter. We had a number of 40 plus degrees days and the capacity was significantly reduced between about 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Taking first place in the every dollar counts category is SunGrow, another Chinese brand. SunGrow's reputation for performance and longevity at a more affordable price point, they're about half the cost of Afronius, means that I've seen many installer clients shift their preferences towards SunGrow over Afronius to keep their quotes as competitive on price as possible without sacrificing too much quality. Reviews of SunGrow on the Solar Quotes website give them a score of 4.6 out of 5 from 1500 reviews. Some reviews criticize the SunGrow monitoring app, the interface of which I also find clumsy. But the good news is, SunGrow were the first to integrate their hardware with the Australian made Solar Analytics platform, which is a much nicer user experience. So there you have it, the best inverters in Australia in 2022, as voted by the people who install them. If you're looking to get quotes for solar from installers I have personally vetted and trust, just visit my website, solarquotes.com.au. Pop your postcode into the top right box, fill in the form, and I'll take it from there.